Most of us see the ocean this way. At the University of Washington, the Ocean Observatory's initiative will change that and transform the way scientists study it. The ocean is the centerpiece of the Earth's planetary environment. This is very, very powerful in terms of vastly increasing the potential that scientists have to examine, uh, experiment with, and come to understand how the oceans actually operate. If the ocean is our planetary life support system, this new research technology could be critical to our survival. Eventually we evolve to the point where we have models that can actually predict the future because they will be so sophisticated. Instruments on the seafloor will gather a wealth of information, recording activities in the ocean that influence climate, earthquakes, fish and other sea life. Fiber optic cable will transmit the data over the internet in real time. Students, scientists, and citizens around the world will be able to study and share that information. It means that really what we're doing is we're unlocking the potential of a collective mind. There's a blue whale. Looks and there's like the whale. excitement of unexpected discoveries. While monitoring underwater seismic activity along the Juan de Fuca Ridge, sensors also recorded a great many whale calls. We get an opportunity to look at the whales while they're not looking back at us. So we have the ability to not only collect a much greater volume of statistical data, but we also have the ability to do it in such a way that the whale's behavior isn't in any way affected by what we've done. From undersea volcanoes to whales, the Ocean Observatory's initiative will allow us to analyze the ocean environment in ways undreamed of only 10 years ago. We are, I think, wisely trying to incorporate all of those new technologies directly into our quest to understand the global oceans. They are so complicated and so fascinating that we will still be discovering new relationships 20 years, 30 years, 40 years from now, especially with this new approach.